Yeah, welcome to a new episode of the Advanced Java Tutorial Series. Today I show you an easy way to handle command line parameters with the Apache Commons CLI library. So the first you need to do is to download this library. You find it on commons.apache.org slash proper slash commons CLI. So there you go to downloads and yeah download this zip file and in this zip file you find a file called commons-cli-1.2.jar so you copy this, in, uh, this into your project and add it to the build path so now you create a new class so I call it command line parameters So this is our start and uh, just something basic to general Java uh, arguments to Java program. So those, those arguments are stored in the uh, arc in the arcs uh, var uh, variable, which is an array of all the arguments given to your program. And the Apache Common CLI library now parses out uh, the options you predefined out of these array and then yeah you can say get value with the name for example a or option a and then it gives you the value back which was given to your program and yeah this will look uh, so you can in eclipse you can uh, configure your run configurations and here you can say arguments and so the normal argument for example is this and behind you write the value for this argument and if you want to uh, use the long version of the argument name you choose two dashes and write a longer name so those are exactly the same options but called by two different names so this can you can you define the uh, arguments to test your program in Eclipse and now we will uh, pass those arguments so we create a command line parser which is a new basic parser and that need to be imported from the org apache commons cli package and now we create our options so those are uh, those are yeah the set of options which are allowed oh, like this and again an import I forgot an import here too so now we use these options and add an option to it so we define this option by the short version so this is for example a as I showed you in an example and the long version is ABC and now as a value if the uh, yeah this is very right true means there is an argument for this uh, for this parameter so for example if you write slash a12 there's an argument but you could just say you want for example a, m a modus which is defined by a or activated with when you give a parameter a then you would write false because there's no value behind it so hope and the last parameter is the description and i write this here so i just copy this and i will write b b c d second parameter so this uh, those are two parameters we defined and now we need to let them pass out of the program uh, of the arguments so we say command line command line parser dot parse and now we say from our options pass them so this is the, sh the schema where we pass the arguments given here and 
we need to surround this with a try catch because there can be problems while parsing. And now we can say system out command line get option value. So for example, you could here write either A or ABC. This uh, won't change anything. And yeah, now when we run the program, it returns null. So now we need to change our run configurations and say, for example, R12 and run it. And now you see 12 was given to this. So we will also define the B here and we will change it to BCD 10 and if you run this 12 and 10 is shown. So this makes us really easy to use command line parameters and there's some more help uh, which is given by this library why we uh, write a description here. So we can say if command line has option, so has option gives us a boolean value which defines if this option was chosen. So if you defined this as false, we will copy this here, false, for example for the help and call it like this, show this help shows. And now we say parameter h. So we had to say there is no value for h, it's just the parameter was uh, set for the start. And then we uh, just check if this parameter was called. And if so, we can use the help formatter, oh, which is also included into the common library and this help formatter uh, does, does yeah, format all the options we have into a sorted way and print this on the console so formatter dot print help and here the program name command line parameters and so th and here the options we want to print out. Uh, this needs to be. Uh, this must be help formatter. So now it works. And yeah, if I run this now, yeah, if I run this now, it wouldn't change anything. I need to add an argument called h here, and now we can run it. And as you see common line parameters usage so this is an, a nice overview it tells you you can use this or this with an argument and this is uh, a parameter without an argument and behind it shows the description so yeah this is really easy to use and you can really easy get all the parameters you want and define them show nice help with really simple way of code there are many more ways you can uh, also define Arrays which were given with parameters, for example, with you don't submit uh, just a single value but an array or even an object, this is uh, possible too. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, write a comment, and I hope I see you soon.